regular attendees and I see plenty in the room will be familiar with the uh, former iteration of this report, which was the CGM's report, which was a weighty tone. Um, it was pretty impenetrable. Uh, it would be interesting to take a vote actually in the room on how many people actually read it, because I suspect that not many do. Um, but it, to be fair to, um, to readers or would be readers, it was it was somewhat off-putting because it was such a big document, it wasn't particularly plain English. Uh, it's actually quite hard to find out um, how the company was performing. You really had to sort of plow through it and, and extract detail from um, a, you know, a myriad of pages. It was really quite difficult to navigate. So um, on the background of my stated objective of modernizing the TTC, the look and feel of the TTC, its processes, um, and also on an absolute uh, remit of um, increasing our transparency and being an open organization and being held accountable, um, I'm pleased to present this first report. So what you'll see, uh, and hopefully you like it, would be happy to take feedback, is one, it's more concise. Two, it's deliberately prefaced by a scorecard, which is the uh, multicolored document at the start. Um, and I'll say more on that in a second. Three, uh, it makes use of graphs which relate to the uh, key performance indicators which we've identified. In other words, those measures of financial, people, uh, revenue, safety, performance that are critical to the, or to the organization and to the service that we provide. Um, and four, it gives you a succinct summary of um, then uh, key projects so that uh, at a glance you can see how we're tracking on those projects that are particularly important, things like um, Union Station rebuild, block LRV rollouts, etc. etc. Um, so it's deliberately um, uh, open, it's transparent, uh, it's, uh, there's sort of no whole bars, there's no sort of secrets in here. Uh, it's, it's, as I said, consistent with my objective, which is that we modernize as a company and that also we are um, open about our performance. A couple of uh, final points before we look at the detail. One, uh, you'll notice that some of the measures are to be decided. Um, now, I could have held off issuing this until we'd, until we'd like, intensified and fin finished off all the measures, but um, I wanted to uh, set this out um, uh, 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 very much as a uh, stake in the ground that uh, we rather than wait uh, for perfection, it would be better to get started. It's an overt statement of intent going forward that it was better to start as we need to go on, which is to have transparent reporting and performance. And secondly, the second thing is, um, please uh, don't be too put off by the targets that are, that, that are actually in there. Um, they, are, they, re re they reflect current reality, um, and they're generally no different to what was hidden in the maze of the former CGM report. So I'll give you some examples. Um, the target for bus reliability, which is measured by headway plus or minus three minutes, is only 65%. Now, what I say straight up is that's nowhere near good enough or nowhere near where we want to be. Similarly, 70% for streetcars um, and 80% on the SRT. But um, it was pointless me putting in here an aspirational target of, say, 95% if we're not going to get anywhere near meeting it. But rest assured, the whole purpose of having key performance indicators and a, um, and a challenging regime whereby we look to continuously improve and people are held accountable, and we get to root causes of why uh, buses run late or streetcars run late, and progressively identify corrective actions and then implement them, means that over time I can ratchet up these uh, targets, we can have stretch targets, and we can incrementally get them up to where they should be, because certainly I'm not happy with you know, a 65% uh, target for buses, but let's be realistic to kick off with. Um, just a couple more points, largely the report speaks for itself. The traffic lights, the way they work, there's a key uh, on there which says, uh, just for clarity, that green is on target. Yellow is at risk of, of, on current trends, so we're there or thereabouts, but we're keeping a close eye on that measure, and red is off target. Then you've got color-coded um, arrows which uh, are meant to show not just whether you're on target, yes or no, but what the prevailing trend is. The way we will use this is twofold. One, um, I'm introducing a four weekly challenge meeting for my executives, so uh, lucky people at the table attend that. Um, and that four weekly challenge meeting, there'll be one for performance objectives and another one for safety and environmental uh, objectives, and I'm minus to a third on projects, is so that every four weeks we, uh, we review in detail both these output measures but also the various inputs that go into meeting them so that we can identify those corrective actions. There'll be a named uh, action need for each of those areas that are either off target or worsening trend, so that we can correct things and continue to improve. 
Um, and we want to go further than that. In addition to that four weekly strategic review, there's going to be a weekly, and we're imminently starting it, a weekly stand up performance um, uh, review, which is basically uh, looking at tactical things that we can do week on week where things are beginning to slide. Say, for instance, we had a big um, problem that had adversely hit bus punctuality. Okay, what was the root cause? What went wrong? How do we put it by named person to fix it by the following week? So it's a mixture of tactics and strategy that I think will drive up our performance. That will then be reported via this report, which will amend over time um, every month. And it's, uh, as I said, publicly available, no holds barred. We've tried to write it in plain English uh, so that you guys, you busy people, commissioners, if you do nothing else, have a look at the scorecard, you can see at a glance how we perform. I'd like to get this over time onto the intern act. Um, so that it's as accessible to everyone in the room uh, as, as people in here as well. I think that was largely it. Um, the, the, the document itself largely speaks for itself, so it's probably best I go to questions. We're not saying the report is perfect, I've heard your feedback, but I was very keen to at least get started this uh, period because you know, you've got to start somewhere. Um, one, one thing I would mention is on page 14, just as an example of how I intend for this report to be used, we've got a um, graph there of top 10 complaints, so we can apply uh, Pareto analysis to this to target those things that bug customers the most. But the other thing that I really want to get started on, and Chris is going to lead on this for me, is um, quarterly customer satisfaction surveys where we will ask our customers on against a range of measures. It won't be us, it'll be an independent company. Um, against a range of qualitative and quantitative measures where they um, see uh, room for improvement and it will be done on a percentage score. And we will be able to